Hello, hello, Marcia Grace here, your Calm Creativity Connector. It's Friday, so good to see you. And uh, today we're talking about <clears throat> creativity. Uh, purple chickens and pink eggs. <laughs> That's my title for today. Uh, I don't have any uh, purple chickens, but I do get pink eggs from, from one of my chickens. <clears throat> and uh, if you don't know, I do have uh, little hens running around in my backyard, and they're just so cute and adorable. Um, it's just uh, a delight. You know, whenever I'm feeling a little ugh, I just go out and watch them for a few minutes and bring them some treats, and it turns my whole my whole uh, my whole day around. So, um, yeah. So that's that's what I wanted to begin to talk about because creativity is what's on our menu today, and it's essential for every businesswoman to find her creativity. You need to rev it up because creativity is what makes you unique. You might have, you might if you're a, a coach or you're a writer or you're a, whatever you are, whatever business you're in, whatever it is your passion, um, there are millions of other people doing the same thing, right? But what makes you unique is your creativity. What you bring to your writing to your classes, to your courses, to your uh, clients, to your, to your customers. That's what makes all the difference. So, of course, it's essential that you, um, you know, use and, and, and nurture that creativity within you <clears throat> as much as you can. So, um, what, what, it, what it does is, I mean, there's so many, so many benefits to acknowledging how important creativity is for you. And um, uh, I'll just name a few, yeah. <clears throat> so creativity will get you through tough times. It will, it will, because when you're creative, when you allow your creativity to flow, it's coming from your inner self. And I teach that course. I help you get in touch with that inner self so that you can bring forth that creativity because it's, it's so essential. And it really helps you get through the tough times because you're recognizing that you have your own inner resources. And that's so important to know that no matter what's going on in our lives, and we've all been through, uh, <clears throat> I'm sure, massive changes and massive ex experiences and disappointments and what have you, uh, and perhaps losses even um, this year. So, uh, so, and I can tell you for myself that my my creative ability has has really come to the fore to help me. So, um, it, it help, and I, I think I I just uh, re recently I will be writing about that about uh, my crisis situation and how I dealt with it. So. Um, it helps you smooth over your mistakes, right? I mean, who doesn't make mistakes? We all make mistakes. Things happen. Um, sometimes we have to react very quickly, and uh, then we find out later maybe it wasn't such a good idea. <clears throat> so, uh, so that, but that again, being able to go within and just say, okay, what do I need to do now? What, 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 um, wh what can I do to correct this situation? And um, you will hear it if you're willing and able to listen to that still small voice within you. You will get your answers. Uh, your creativity will help you see the potential and connections that others don't, because they're so busy trying to keep it together <clears throat> and um, fix problems and what have you that they're not able to really take the time to go within and find out what they can do that's unusual, different, exciting, uh, that, uh, to, to stir their customers' uh, interest. So, um, yeah, so it, the creativity that you have will help you do that. It'll bolster your confidence in yourself, and, and it's a self-perpetuating thing because once you listen to that guidance and it tells you, go, you know, get some purple chickens and... <laughs> or talk about purple chickens and um and then you you find that that was a lot of fun and it worked out well that builds your confidence and then you go and you find something else because that's that's how it works it's a self-perpetuating system uh to when you start to work with your creativity 
Uh, it'll help you see solutions that balloon your abundance mentality because that's what we've been talking about for the last umpty ump weeks is building a vibrant and abundant mentality okay and your creativity is at the top of the list to accomplish that yeah it really is um, so it's it's time to spice everything up that you do by pinging your creativity right to use a modern word <laughs> so how do we do this how do we is it possible I mean you know a lot of people say I'm just not a creative person I'm a very pragmatic person I go by the book blah 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 things like that and and I say to you horse feathers okay everybody can be creative uh, it's a skill like anything else it's a skill you can learn how to increase to to bring forth okay so some of the ways let's just talk quickly about some of the ways that you could do this because i know it's a holiday weekend and we've got things to do although here on long island our weather report isn't very good i'm afraid for the weekend but um i'm sure a good time will be had by many um so uh let's quickly just look at some of the ways that you can encourage and nurture your creativity so number one you must find the time, a time in the day I like and prefer and really strongly encourage you to do this first thing in the morning before you even get out of bed for the day, okay? Because that's when you can, you know, you haven't fully awakened to the day, so your, your, your mind is still in, in, you know, can be in that alpha state. You can bring yourself back to that alpha state of, of receptivity and openness to your inner wisdom so that's what i encourage everybody to do uh, and that's what my uh, the beginning of my course is all about is to teach you how to do that uh it's very simple it's just really four steps and it doesn't take more than 15 minutes but it's really essential that 15 minutes that you spend at the beginning of the day makes all the difference it can increase it can tenfold your uh your income and solve your family problems <laughs> i mean uh i know it sounds ridiculous for me to say such a uh seems like a crazy thing but um but it's true it really really can just transform your life so um so you find that time of the day if it's if the morning doesn't work for you for whatever reason you've got family whatever i don't know um if that's the case then maybe just before bed just before sleep uh you know to to get into that space and and listen to that inner guidance so that's the first thing you know and that's to me is a non-negotiable you have to find a way to do it um and maybe again not everybody can sit quietly i get it uh and maybe what you need to do is go for a run or a walk or go go do your gardening you know there's so many ways that we can find that quiet space you know that little that little sacred space that we can enter into and um uh and allow that creativity those that wisdom to uh to flow out hey michael <laughs> hi uh so uh yeah so so okay so that's so you gotta find that 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 sacred space okay that's the first thing and then um another thing that i think is really helpful because this takes the the thinking um mind the, the part of the mind the, the judging the the self you know finding fault self part of your mind out of the picture and that is to do some automatic writing so you pick up a pen and paper and you start writing anything it doesn't you don't you don't censor it you don't try to figure out what you know what it is that you're saying you just write down whatever's whatever comes to mind and you don't pick the pen up off the paper you keep going, just keep going. And if you can't think of anything to write, just make squiggles, you know, just, just keep moving the pen until something comes. And, and watch yourself saying, I don't know what to write, write down, I don't know what to write, okay? And, and just keep going for, you know, as long as, long as you can keep it up. <laughs> uh, certainly not an all day project, but uh, if you can do it for a couple of minutes, um, uh, it, it'll be interesting to see what comes out of that. 
Uh, so that's another another thing because you may be surprised what's deep down in our unconscious we're not aware of until we free ourselves up to let it loose, so to speak. So give it a try. Um, another way and a very practical way for us as business women to um, uh, to help ourselves and is to help each other is to help each other because um, that's what we do as women. We're, we're team players. We tend to want to um, work with others and help others and, and help ourselves. And this, so, this, so having a mastermind group of other women that you can be with on a regular basis, whether it's once a week or once a month or whatever it is, once a week probably would be great, um, and get together and just brainstorm. You know, just throw it out there, whatever's going on. Of course, this has to, these have to be people that you trust, that you honor are going to keep everything within the mastermind. Nothing leaves the room, right? Um, uh, everything there is, is uh, um, zip the lip, right? And we don't share it with anybody else. And so that will allow you to, uh, that, that's another way of freeing up ideas. Because you know how it is when somebody says something and it sparks something in you. And then you say, oh, wow, yeah, that's right, and blah, 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 and, and you do that for each other. And before you know it, you come up with some really great ideas. So masterminding is a, is a wonderful, wonderful tool. And uh, so those are, those are the three main things I, I would offer to get your creativity flowing and, um, and allowing yourself to um, blossom you know, to grow in your business, uh, whether it's your, your full-time business or maybe it's a side hustle that you're doing while you're um, are trying to build a new business. Uh, in these times, there's a lot of people in that situation and I, and I honor you and I think that's wonderful. So, okay, so again, find a sacred space time of day, okay, that you can set aside. 15 minutes would be minimum, I'd say, okay, because there are certain things you need to do um, to set yourself up for that. And if you're interested in finding out more, of course, just go to my website. Um, or, and, and by the way, you can get my, uh, my, uh, my little freebie, which is uh, some ways to release stress because uh, that, that, of course, I'm the stress queen, right? <laughs> it's all about releasing stress because we're not going to feel, we're not, that's another thing, we're not going to experience our, our creativity if we're feeling stressed. So, um, so go get my free 10 points for, uh, reducing stress on my website. And, um, also if you, uh, if you would, um, like to, and I think you'd get a great benefit out of it is to join my Facebook group for the busy businesswoman, which is calm, creative, joyful for the busy businesswoman. And sorry, Michael, you can't join, <laughs> uh, but, um, uh, there you will find some uh, nice nurturing uh, experiences and an opportunity to put your stuff out there. You know, share stuff that you know or that you have a question about. Um, that would be wonderful. That would really be wonderful. If you ask a question, you can be sure that you'll, you'll get an answer. And if it's not from me, you know, from somebody else in the group, because, we, because I have some absolutely fantastic women in this group who have thousands of years of experience and, uh, and expertise to share. So, um, okay, so that's what I've got for you today. And I wish you a very happy and joyful week end and week ahead until next week. So as I always say, everything begins with a thought. So keep those thoughts light, 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 light. So long for now. <laughs>